Okay, I'm going to do another movie to explain the two options for the truss setup, but we think we know what we're doing now. Um, Vector works. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do, and we're going to look at plan view first, and there are two different versions. We're going to put a super tr truss along the what I'm going to call barn trusses, the big, you know, house-shaped things. And we're going to put motors at the nodes. So that's where you've got a junction of the flat part and also the, the diagonals of the, the other um, triangulations. And so we can get two cross-stage trusses that can pick up upstage, downstage trusses that will give us the exact motor points that we need for the lift motors. And just to take a look at that in 3D, it'll look something like this. And in this version, you can see that um, two of the trusses are higher, and the pickup trusses, super trusses, are below, kind of picking them up. Now, the advantages of this are, one, we can get the tracks up higher, uh, and two, we have one less stick of truss. The disadvantages are, is that one of the motors is lower than the other two. Now, these two motors, the performers work together mostly in relationship to each other, where they're touching, and this one uh, is apart except for the top of the piece. Um, but we don't think that's a, a huge difference in the performance of it. These trusses would be at 18.3, which is where they would be in um, the shed. The tracks could be higher, which we're hoping to do at the shed as well. Um, and there you have that version. Okay, and then there's another version in which the, um, the pickup truss is above and the upstage, downstage trusses are below. You can see sort of that. Now, the advantages to this, the advantage is that all the motors are the exact same height. They can all be put at 18.3, just like they will be at the shed. Um, disadvantages is you get a little bit more truss, another 15-foot piece of truss here. Um, and the tracks are limited in how high they can go. They have to be the exact same height as the, um, the motors, basically, where the motors get picked up. Um, and there you have the two scenarios. Um, what am I thinking? Anything else to say about it? Um, this, uh, this actually has more weight than the, what I calculated before, Vinny. What I calculated before was just very, uh, was three individual small pieces of truss. This is a little bit more substantial. I will do the numbers, but I think it's still going to be within our tolerances. And you can see also that in this view, you can see that this is where the, the motors would wrap. You get our wrap and pick right there. And also here, you've got all the intersection. So these are the strongest points, of course, of the truck's structure. Okay, that's it. Um, and thank you. Ah, I'll turn that off.